when we look at this 2020 class, of course, the early signing period is almost uh, come to a conclusion with National Signing Day on December 18th. So we're just about a week away. Um, your thoughts about the current class? Any any news that's come out in the last few days in regards to anybody's lean or commit status? Well, as of right now, Mark, uh, Nick Saban got a chance to get on the uh, the private jet there and make sure that he's got quite the number of guys that are looking forward to signing early. A couple of guys at the top of my head right now, you would look at Jackson Bratton, a linebacker out of Muscle Shoals, Alabama, Des Moines Kennedy, another very explosive, talented young linebacker out of Theodore High School in Theodore, Alabama. A uh, Treshawn Holden, a six foot three wide receiver who looks to enroll early. Uh, a couple of defensive guys, including the likes of uh, four star defensive back Malachi Moore from uh, Hewitt Trustville High School in Trustville, Alabama. So, about a good portion or almost all for 2020 class will look to enroll early, with the exception of a couple of guys, including a defensive lineman, Jason Elijah Jones, defensive tackle of Calera High School. He has chosen to hold off coming in until more so toward the summer, but the majority of this class will look to sign its name on the dotted line come December 18th. Eight guys from uh, this class hell from the state of Alabama. Nick Saban was trying to get back to getting more of the in-state talent. Uh, he has done that uh, with this class. So very, very uh, impressive group right here as it right now stands as the top class in the Southeastern Conference, number two nationally. But just about the bulk of this class, with the exception of a few names, will sign its name on the dotted line come December 18th. Nick Saban has generally held down the number one recruiting class for almost a decade. Uh, they had a downturn to number five or number six a few years ago, but still an outstanding class even uh, by just about anybody's standards and looking to bring in the number one class, as Stephen says, in the SEC, if not the nation here in 2020. So, so is there anybody on the fence that would be really key in the next six or seven days in regards to we really don't know where they're going. Maybe they're leaning one direction or the other, but uh, would be a really good get based on your evaluation. I think um, two guys you're looking at, you're looking at Damian George, the offensive lineman out of North Shore High School in Houston, Texas. You're looking at him. You also look at his running mate, Zach Evans, the running back that comes from the exact same school. And they they, they are a package deal. You don't get one without the other. Kind of goes back to 2015 where Calvin Ridley told Bama, you don't get me unless you get my buddy uh, Sean Burgess Becker also. Of course, Alabama made that happen with bringing both in. Now, of course, Calvin Ridley continued his career at Alabama. Burgess Becker, after one semester, he found himself back home in Florida at the University of Central Florida. So uh, the, the tandem of Zach Evans and uh, Damian George, a package deal, and with Zach Evans landing attention now from the likes of Georgia and LSU, who will be competing for a national championship, it appears as though George is kind of leaning right now. Does he go be with his best friend wherever Zach, Evan, Zach Evans goes? Or does he continue to come to uh, the Crimson Tide? Now, Alabama has recruited both he and Evans separately, but the two together – they look at each other as more of a package deal. So the one that's kind of leaning right now is the offensive lineman, Damian George, in terms of where does Zachary Evans sign? 